Greetings one and all, it's Apple Stump Bushcraft Stuff and Things. Today we have a Stuff and Things episode. We're presented with the issue of what to do with ink cartridges that come out of a printer we're no longer going to use or perhaps put in storage for a while. We replaced this printer with a new one, so we're going to take the ink cartridges out. This is the front of the printer. So to take the ink cartridge out, you have to lower this door. Papers come out of the printer and they line up here. And inside of there, there's another door. And when you open that, it causes the carriage that holds the ink cartridges to go to the middle so you can get at them easy. So I'm going to put some light in there. And there we have the empty slot. So I already took out the color cartridge. And to get the black and white one out, we just push down on it and extract it. So this is what it looks like. And there's the printer head. So we'll close that back up. Close this back up. And we'll turn the machine off. It's turned off. Close the little paper tray backer. And this printer is effectively out of service. So this is the print head portion of the ink cartridge. And what we want to do is cover that up some way so that the ink doesn't get soaked up by something or has a little less exposure to the effects of air. So what we're going to do is take a small piece of tape and fold it back on itself a little bit. Like so. And I'll take a bigger piece of tape. Pick that one up. and stick it across there. So there's no sticky surface on the print head. Just a little protection. Keep it from drying out. Some people recommend putting a second piece over crosswise. Just making some little folds here so it'll be easier to get off when the time comes. So I'll put that across here, but once again, no sticky surface is touching the print head. That is prepared now to go into long-term storage. So here we have the ink cartridge. Print head's covered against evaporation, hopefully. It looks like maybe a little ink contacted the dry side of the tape, but not much. Next comes the cliff bar. Could be actually any small package like this that's heat sealed, and originally heat sealed. So I'm going to cut it as close to the top as possible. Remove the tasty goodness from inside and we'll set that aside for the moment so there we have the empty package next we're going to take the empty package some dry tissue paper and just get rid of any foil or moisture that the clip bar may have imparted to the inside foil liner So we now have a nice dry environment for that cartridge to go into. And we're going to put it in there. All the way to the bottom. So we have quite a bit of extra material at the top. So cartridge is inside. Next. We'll turn on the vacuum sealer 
and the vacuum sealer is ready to go. Tell by the green ready light. So we'll open up the vacuum sealer and here there's a gasket that's a pressure gasket and then this is the line to put sealable material over. And it needs to go yay. So it's locked down. All we want to do is seal. We have vacuum and seal, seal, vacuum only, and cancel. Extended means it takes an extra longer time to seal the product. We're just going to seal it. And so that's applying heat across a wire to the material of the bag. And what that last sound was, was verifying that it was sealed because if it were not, you would have seen air being sucked out of that bag, but there was none. So that indicates that it's good to go. Okay. You can see the bag was stuck to the element. We have a sealed bag. You can see how deep down, about half an inch, is where the seal is, and it's all the way across. I like to double seal these, so we're going to advance it even a little farther into the machine. Close it up again, and seal it again. And so now we have a double sealed bag. I don't know if you can see the two lines there. They're about a quarter of an inch apart, say, right there. And so now this is effectively sealed against air and will last hopefully indefinitely. So there's a way that you can enjoy a nutrition bar such as a cliff bar. But it could be any kind of a nutrition bar or any kind of another product that comes in a foil lined heat sealed pouch. So this is good to go. I don't know for how long. At some point in the future we'll drag that printer out, connect it to a computer, open up the two print cartridges. Here's the color one that I sealed up previously. You'll note that I made a label for it. It says number 63 tricolor. So I prepared this cartridge just the same way as I did the black ink cartridge. And now I'm going to prepare a label and we'll use this label maker. So I'll turn it on and we don't want tricolor, we want black. And there's the finished label. All that remains is to trim it, because I usually do trim them. So that there's not an excess amount of sticky label on it. Okay, there we have the label. I'll stick it on here. Next time I use this inkjet printer, or if I give it away or sell it, I will have these two cartridges nice and hermetically sealed in their own pouch. I might just take off a little extra label off of this one, a little extra packaging, preserving the two sealing lines as I did. So there's a margin above the top one there. There's a seal going there, a seal going there. So this is double sealed. Whatever air is in that package is the only air that's going to get in there until the next time it's open. 
So next time we get ready to use that printer, it'll save me or somebody uh, the price of buying new cartridges. So that's how you can use a cliff bar, a heat sealer, and some tape and a labeler to package up your inkjet cartridges for storage. This has been Apple Stump Bushcraft Stuff and Things with another Stuff and Things video. Hope you have a great week, and we'll see you next time. Adios.